Hey, welcome back to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Trying something new. You know I, I, I liked it a lot. It kind of sounded like that old. What was that thing that like guys who were like yeah they would like announce horse races and they'd be like oh he's coming down the stretch. <laughs> uh, not a not a didgeridoo. Oh, what? Swoop. Yes, whatever the hell that is. Skew. I don't know why people thought that was cool. Don't hurt yourself. You're spinning look, dirt, swirly dervish. You just say spinning dirt. No, no, no. A swirling dervish. I think it's called. I don't know. That what's sounds the, delicious. What's the thing that? Remember, it would rotate and be on like. Yeah, yeah. There was a bunch what of. Was, <laughs> I don't know what it was called, but I just remember doing this. Yo, back in the day, people had dumb toys. Terrible. Remember, like a top. Yeah. It was like this is a giant dreidel. Ball in a cup's cool though. Ball in a cup. Yeah. What is that? It's like when you got a. It's on a string. Oh yeah, those thing, came you back. You gotta like do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm good on that. I'm not cool with that. It was cool, like when you were a kid. Yo-yos were sick. Yeah, but I hated those little like. There was always some like little kid like that was just. He was always like the poorest kid in your school, but he was amazing at yo-yoing. That's well, that's not how it went down over here. Really, you guys were all good. I just no, remember we the poorest kid good. was always just like. It's like you want to see me fucking rock the fucking cradle. Yeah, dude. I used you want to, to see me rock the baby to sleep. I'm yeah, like, damn, yeah, dude. dude, this kid's poor, but he's killing it. So you can walk the dogs like, so yeah, I just walk it, dude. I used to crush my yo-yo. You used to do the thing where yo-yos like make this. no fucking sense, by the way. Yeah, I could, I can make the triangle and it would just sway back and forth, yeah. and I just fucking. <laughs> those are those were cool. It was like swinging a tape measure around. I fucked myself up with yo-yos. Before, oh, dude, though. I've almost broken my nostril. Oh yeah, I've clipped myself plenty of times. Yeah, yo-yos remember are the, dangerous. Remember man. the fireball? It would light up. Yeah, admit, I made my mom spend like twenty three dollars back in like two thousand one on a yo-yo that like lit up and like made sounds. And yeah, shit. yeah. This bitch was mad at me, dude. I remember because like, yo, you better win some nationals with this shit. And there was ways like where people could like tie like tie the string a certain way so like it would be like regulation to go like around the world and shit like oh remember around the world around yeah, the world dude. shit yeah dude <laughs> i bring you, this shit right I back like, yo be careful though because uh, motherfucker don't be around me when i'm when i'm going around the world no 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 because no, i'll no. kill somebody with this yo-yo the best was frat when you used to flap it out and it would just spin on the bottom yeah 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 I'm like, yo, this it's is like fine. damn yo he's sleeping it and then he'd just be like Ooh. And then it would come right back up. <laughs> Squirt. And just be, yeah. Dude. Damn, yo-yos are tight. I might. I kind of want to get one. I think yo-yoing is still a thing. Nothing felt better than nailing the sleep. Oh, and it would just sit there, literally, while you're having a conversation, and then just fucking grab it and fucking throw a fucking gang sign up with it. Yeah, dude. That they was were like awesome. Com- competitions. I feel, like, I feel like there there still are competitions, and they and they no do way. crazy. Yeah, dude. They do them like nunchucks. Like they go around their body, and they're like. It's like it's insane. I get, I get excited about shit like that. What yo-yos? Like you know how like listen, we all watch sports, right? But like seeing weird sports gets me very excited. Like seeing like a yo-yo national championship would get me hype as fuck. Dude, 2015. This is first place. This is this is his uh, his heat. I gotta say this. Damn, this- yo, this guy's doing some other shit. He's wearing a glove, too. That's yeah. how you know he crushes puss. That's how you know you're a pro if you wear a glove. It's like billiards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this dude's, like, good-looking. He probably crushed all... You think there's, like, yo-yo groupies? Yeah, for sure. Because there's probably fellow or... Oh, he's doing it. He's doing oh, it. he's doing it to music! Yeah, this is tight. Yo, he's killing it. Yo, he's fucking this in the ass. <laughs> Uh, Damn. Oh. I can't even keep up to what he's... what. All I know is that it's all on beat. Did he just go through his legs? Dude, he's going everywhere. That's he went, insane. He went through dimensions. <laughs> yeah, so yo-yoing's a thing. That kid uh, gets mad, bitches. Good and, for him. Uh, yeah, and did you notice it was on a legitimate stage with a backdrop and a whole crowd? So yes. the yo-yo community... Is being slept on, and I, I don't really appreciate it. I know I was the one who started this whole thing, but yeah. Remember also the finger decks, dude. The fucking kicking, smacking them around. Two things. One, the skateboard finger deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was obsessed with. 
trash at it though. I never understood it. Couldn't kick flip. Couldn't like grind. There's there's competitions for that too. Oh yeah, probably. It, like stupid Frankie ones. had a whole setup with like a half pipe and shit. Why don't, hey, how about this? Why don't you try real skateboarding? No, nah, that was that's too hard. That's not <laughs> that's not happening. But yo, I also doing a kick flip like this is harder than you're doing it with your feet. You remember when they had the little bikes, and they were like. I don't know if you know this. I don't know if like only people like out on Long Island had this shit because my cousin had it. Okay. Uh, yo, so Pete's brother. This is a true story, by the way. Pete's brother, Smokey Pete. Uh, <laughs> Pete's brother had these bikes. They were like this big. Okay. Right. But they legitimately looked like like a huffy with like pegs and everything. Mm-hmm. And they were just cool. So you could like grab them and do like. You know how people like go off ramps and they're just like swinging their fucking handlebars and landing somehow. And you're like, God damn, dude. So I was playing with this shit. And then I was sleeping at my cousin's house at their house for like a day. And then the day I was supposed to leave, I just threw one of them shit bitches in my bag. Oh, you stole it. And then I got caught. No. <sighs> yeah, dude. Who caught you? Mike. He just knew. He knew something was out of place. Shit. He's like, where's this bike? And then I played it off like, yo, I don't know how it even got in there, dog. Damn, dude. But he, but I didn't get the, I didn't get it. You were one of those guys, the sticky fingers McGee back in the day. I wasn't, I wasn't. I really just really liked this bike. Yeah, I stole a bike from my cousin, man. There's many, there's, there's many, uh, very few moments, not many, but like when you're like, I have to steal this. Oh, I've, st- yeah, and that usually, was one of them. It's usually candy for me. Yeah, uh, I've done that. I almost stole something from the supermarket yesterday, and then I was like, I'm an adult. Yeah, but I do that sometimes. Like, if if I go to the store, right, and I buy, like, six things, and, like... You're going you're gonna to throw this gum in you, in your pocket? This is this is the thing I do. I'm going to let you, you know. Are, you, have, you are a habitual thief? No, I'm not a habitual thief. It's when it I actually, when it comes to my mind, I do it. If I forget, then I just forget. Okay, you sick freak. I'll out. grab a water, uh-huh. right? I'll go get my prescriptions. I'll do whatever else shopping I have to get and drink the water and I'll drink the water on the or, uh, on the route. And then you won't pay for the water. No, I will not. Damn. Dude. Yeah. And it's usually an essential. An essential. An essential. Well, that's expensive water. Yeah. That's hipster water. Yeah. Essential is hipster water. Yeah. If you're stealing that, then, you know, that's that's a bank robbery. Yeah. Dude. But I feel like it's a small price to pay because I'm buying other stuff. Nah, you know dude. I mean? That's like like if CVS was a bank, like you went right to the vault. And stole true. that shit, this man. Is true. They don't have a lot of good shit there, but essential water—that's the you know—that's the the big one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do a walk around, drink the water, and then I'll just leave it see, right in front of their face, and I'll pay for everything, and be like, "I dare you to ask charge me for this water," and they don't. Wow. Yeah. Tower see, move. Well, yesterday when I was at the supermarket, I I, uh, I just went to get like a new uh, spatula and like ladle because I just like wanted to get new ones, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I was walking, I knew where they were, so I was walking by everything, but then I, I walked by the fridge and I saw this drink and it was like this, had antioxidants and all this like weird shit in it and it was like Georgia peach flavored, so I was like, you know what, I'll try this. Yeah. So then I'm walk. I just grab it and I'm walking and I get to the aisle where all the shit that I need is and the stuff that I need isn't there. So I'm like, oh, I'm not about to go wait in line to the supermarket so I can buy this drink that I'm just like on a whim going to get because I'm going to go to a different store. So a part of me was like, do I just pocket this and just bounce with the Georgia Peach drink? No, you should. I put it back. Should have drank it. See, and I was thinking about drinking it. Yeah, you should. But then drank I was, like, it. I was glad that I didn't crack it because then I would have had to pay for it. Because nah. what if I didn't like it? Now I got a full drink. I'm walking out. I paid for it already. I used to do that with Muscle Milks, like when I would come out of the gym, I would go to like a CVS. Yeah. Like crush a Muscle Milk, but like buy like a protein bar. Or something like I would always buy something, but crush something at the same time. Oh, so you thought that you were canceling it out? Yeah, I was like, they, 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 they this one costs more than this, but together they, they both, they're ten dollars. That's dirtbag math. Yeah, that's what that is. That's that's actually one hundred percent what it is. That's dirtbag dirt bag math. math. Yeah, because I, sure. I used to do dirtbag math all the time, dude. I would walk in. I was like, dude, at least you're getting eight dollars from me. Yeah, you know, you know how many times I go to self checkouts, and like if the thing don't scan, I'll just throw that shit in my bag. Yeah, but they can tell now. Everything's like weighted. Nah, not like dude. CVS has some weird setup where the self checkout, which by the way, fuck self checkout. Yeah, like it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's garbage and it never works. It never works. There's like two people standing there, like 
it's not beeping. Uh, sir, can you help me? And then they come over and they're like, oh, I got to put my key in and like fix this fucking thing. But it's like they have it at the CVS over here. Yeah. You have to beep your shit and then put it in your bag that's on this thing that weighs how much it weighs, like whatever. Yeah. So it knows that it was in the bag and it knows that you paid for it. But if you put something else there, it's like, oh, you didn't pay for something. So, so something's 2.5 ounces, right? And I grab something that's 2.5 ounces. That's and- a good way to steal. Right, I could do the cheaper the cheaper thing and then put the more expensive thing in there. No, 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 no. It's different. They know the weights of the things. That's what I'm saying. But like, say like I want to use. Uh, you can't buy a pack of gum and put a shampoo down. What? But if they weigh the same. Well, what I was gonna say that was a good idea is that if you just like tape together like six pens, you know what I'm saying? You could go in there. You could get something like you know uh, like a a big old like maybe three packs of Orbit. Like yeah. pens are pretty heavy. So then you scan one thing of uh, Orbit, and then you put the pens, and then you yeah. keep the... You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that could work. Do you ever... Do you use the little bags? I always had trouble with the little bags. What little bags? Like the little produce bags. Oh, man. Yeah, I, no, it was a whole thing yesterday when I was picking out broccoli. It's hard to get them. Dude, bags in the grocery uh, store... Grocery store? In the in the supermarket? Yeah, it's fucking a fucking grocery ripping store. ripping this thing out, and then... Here goes Josh. He's making his way. He's trying to be quiet. <laughs> hey. Hey. I heard you guys talking about just taking something. Yeah, stealing. At the gym all the time. I'll... At the gym all the time. You're not on the camera. You have to come over here. Hey. At the gym all the time, I'll take something out the fridge if someone's not at the desk. If someone's not at the desk, I'll, I'll come by later and be like, hey, I took this, but you weren't here. Oh. Or I'll just leave some money on the counter, but won't tell them what I took. Oh, oh I wouldn't do that. So you only steal for six hours? Because you feel like you're in the gym all day. Yeah, that's borrowing. That's borrowing. That's not stealing. I'm talking about crimes. We're talking crimes. about fucking stealing, We're talking about dude. crimes, dude. We're talking about, like, awesome. being on the run. Yeah. You're going to report me when I was 14 stealing a whole packet? Yo, one time I stole, like, a 30-pack of Winterfresh. That's a good That's a good score. You know what? You, I mean, yeah, that's it was. Su- Oh yeah, you used to take glasses. Yeah, you take glasses. I from I, bars. I used to take glasses from bars. My mom, That's cool. My mom I like steals. that. I don't like them. It's a big like F U. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like my mom steals glasses. Well, she doesn't do it. She did it though. Yeah, I watched. I watched her do it. Don't want to tell you. All right. When the when the Giants won the Super Bowl, I, I used to steal all like the Super Bowl champion glasses from bars. No, but when I was little, I took this like, you know how you walk down an aisle and they have like those, um, plastic things that are like coupons in the middle of it no they have like these these plastic like things and then they just hang the gum on them but they're like long packs yeah with the little hooks on them yeah exactly the little rafters so it was one of those and i just popped it off and put it in my waistband why not i'm gonna hit why not <laughs> you why know, not it was easier to steal back in the day now you got all this technology yeah. and the fucking twitter and the fucking facebook yeah. once 9 11 happened it got harder to steal yeah yeah ruined everything yeah <laughs> thanks obama Thanks a lot for all the not uh, – the one time I got caught, too, stealing. From, like, the store? Mm-hmm. They just made you put it back, right? Uh, no, I just pretended, like, I'm going to pay for this. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. I had it in, in, the, in the thing of my sweater, and I put it in my sweater, and I was actually with Frankie, and uh, I didn't think anyone saw me. And then this woman comes up to me. She goes, What's it? what is that? And I'm like, what? And I just took it out. And she goes, you're going to steal that. And I was like, I'm not going to steal it. I'm going to pay for it. And then Frankie was like, oh, like he would never steal. Like that's not, you know, but I was fully ready to fucking <laughs> book it out of there with that free Snickers bar. Do you remember the fucking adrenaline rush you would get stealing? The smallest currency of things. Oh, dude. I, I Listen, robberies, burglaries. I get it. Yeah. There's a rush. There's a rush, dude. I was addicted. And getting away with it, too. I used to steal a lot. Damn, of- I want to go out and steal right now. I know. I really want to steal. Yeah, I want to steal. I want to steal. I want to go into a deli right now and just take gum. Yeah, or like a old pack of baseball cards. Oh, yeah. That I no used one's, to steal. No one's going to know they're gone. No, you're not going to miss them. Nah. I used to love stealing Pokemon cards. Um, I also had this weird thing about Pokemon cards that to check if they had a hologram, I would pinch my fingers together. Like on the pack to see if there was like if they were cool, like they had a cool feeling to them. There was a hologram in there. What? I don't know, dude. For it's just second grade, stupid, dumb idiot logic. 
but I would hold, I would pinch the pack like this and be like, it's cooler than this one. There's probably a hologram, in it, holographic one in here. So you thought if the cards were hot, then they, they were wasn't. they were just stock cards. It, but if there was something that could hold cold, like a little conductor in there, they had to be a hologram. So I would, that's what I would do. That is so dumb. But also genius. But not. I guarantee you, if I made five decks, you'd get most of them wrong. Like, hmm, two holograms in that. <laughs> I will say, it it wasn't very successful. The sex the the sex rate this the sex rate was high, <laughs> okay. but the success rate was yeah. low. Right. Yeah. You know, the success rate wasn't that great. Did I ever tell you about the time that I uh, I made fifty dollars off this kid, Alan? Oh yeah, because you found his wallet. No, no, no. I, 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 I found a Charizard. Oh no, I found fa- his Charizard or something. Oh yeah. So this is what it was, right? And he was Asian. He was an Asian Alan. An Asian yeah. fella. An Asian Alan, and I had uh, a Charizard, and he's like, "I'll give you fifty dollars for it." Yeah. Because he found a fifty dollar bill on the way to school. That's what it was. He found money, and your mom was like, "You can't sell that to him, right?" Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. So I sold it. I'm like fully. I was like, yeah, "Yo, fuck Charizard. Charizard." I was like, "Well, not fuck Charizard. Love Charizards." Yeah, but no, day. but fifty bucks though. Yeah, 50, 50 beans, baby. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm cool. And then he gives me the fifty dollars, and then my mom found the fifty dollars. She's like, "Where'd you get this?" I was like, "Oh, Alan Wang, like, f- like bought a traded, card, bought, yeah. a, bought a card off me." She's like, "Nah." She's like, "This is." A, she was like, "This is his mother's like money that he uses for lunch. Like, you're not gonna take it from him for some fucking card." And I was trying to say like, "Oh, this dude found it." She's like, "Nah, you're a lying little bitch." And then so, you were like, "Yo, bitch, like Charizard is pretty limited." Like, yeah, and I was he- like, "Yo, mom, I'm a businessman, yeah. dog." <laughs> Let me eat. So my mom fucked up my business transaction. You know what I'm saying? I had an entrepreneurial mind. I saw I was a visionary. I saw the future with this Charizard. I knew I could get like 50 beans is a good price. Yeah. But then she made me give the money back to him, and then I didn't get my Charizard back. What an asshole. Ended up with zero. Who? My mom. I know. Hit her and Wang were in on it together. They probably kept the money and the Charizard. Yeah, that was. She probably planted the 50. That yeah. bitch. Yeah. Oh my god! Hold on, can we stop this? I gotta call my mom. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love like. Remember when you had thirty dollars as a kid and it was like a jillion dollars? Yeah, because pizza was like two dollars, <laughs> and now it's like, oh, you want a special? Yo, it's a specialty slice that has like it's it's a pepperoni slice, <laughs> three seventy five. It's unbelievable how expensive pizza is now. It's insanity. A medium pie. What What would you say back in the day? Twelve bucks. <laughs> For medium pie with with nothing on it. No, personal pie is like fourteen dollars. And they're this big. Yeah. Garbage. Absolute garbage. These kids don't know. These kids, These don't, kids know. don't know about pizza. They don't know about photo hunt in the pizzeria. Oof. All kinds. I used to do porno photo hunt at this bar. Oh, did you find you find titties or something? Have you ever been to Candlelight before? No. What is that? The the wing place. No. I gotta take you there. They got really good fucking wings there. So let's bang some wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why was I just doing this? I don't, I don't know. Yo, for some <laughs> reason, I always do like up, like a make tri- a four. Yeah, but like finish it off. I do a four and then like a triangle. Okay. So it looks like that. For anyone who's just listening, Danny's just wiping his hand. On yeah, the, it's on weird. The table. It's I weird. I don't know what you're doing. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry about I, that. I, yeah, I, 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 threw, just, I threw you off. Not not only did you throw me off, but you threw me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but um, I I do mad weird shit with my hands that I've like realized. Like I'll do this. I'll be like two, four, six, eight, ten, in my head. What? Like I'm always counting. If I'm doing this, I'm doing two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm rolling my fingers on the one, one by one. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. You're an even guy. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Because I'm counting my finger touching this. Mm-hmm. Like the I'm counting the table and my finger. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I'm going two, four, six, eight, ten all the time. It's one of those weird things. You have any like things like that that you do? Weird stuff? Like like not, not like the music thing in your car, but like Yeah. Do you have like any like I guess nervous ticks, I guess, maybe? Mm. I don't know. I would have to. I guess if I do have them, I just kind of do them, and I don't really realize. Because we were talking about how Frankie always does this. Oh, he jiggles his fucking. <laughs> he jiggles his wrist. His and... loose ass bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were in there. We were talking about buying him a new bracelet. Just something. That I was like, "Yo, how much money for you to not wear that bracelet? I'll buy you a new one." <laughs> he just jiggles, jiggles it up, and then jiggles it down. He's like, "I do do that, don't I?" I'm like, "Dude, like every five yeah, seconds. yeah, like every second you do it." 
He's like, yo, guys, seriously, I really, <laughs> yo, we got to think about this. And I'm like, stop jiggling the bracelet, all right? Now, I don't think that's a nervous tick. I think that's just literally because the weight of the bracelet. I think it's because the bracelet's too fucking big. <laughs> it's huge. I can fit it around my bicep. <laughs> it is huge. It is huge. huge. That's the thing. He's like, yeah, when it gets caught up here, then then I just go like this and it goes down there. <laughs> but uh, um, how you doing over there, by the way? Me? Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm I'm like I'm sitting, like over the mic, kind of. Yeah, yeah. That's why. I mean, you. I could see the posture is just incredible today. Yeah, I have to keep it that way. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you wanna you wanna oh, okay. spread the news? I mean, yeah, I'll spread I'll spread the news if you want. Yeah, yeah. Um. Danny may or may not have some sort of uh, uh, assist assist above his ain. Yes, uh, a pilonidal cyst. It's called. Right. Yes, a piece of a piece uh, of just ingrown hair by my butt. Yeah. That um I had in the past as a child. Um, oh, you were a child. No, I was like seventeen years old. Oh, th- I thought this happened to you recently. No, no, no. This was over a decade ago. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's like an ingrown hair that gets like infected kind of a big fuck up of ingrown hair. Yeah. 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 That's when it reaches its peak. Yeah. You know, when it reaches Final its highest. Yeah. When it reaches its boiling point, let's yes, say. Yes. Um, and I'm afraid that it's coming back. Yeah. And, uh, this is like it like every 20, every 13 years. It just every rears th- its yeah, ugly yeah. head. So, um, I, I needed someone to look at my ass. And uh, I was the only one around. He was the only one around. So, so, Doctor Joe, did you see anything that was like crazy looking back there? Okay, before I get into that, just to paint the picture for everyone, this is an exa- This isn't an exaggeration at all. No, this happened today. Danny came into the office, and I'm at my computer, and he goes, "I'm gonna need you to look at my ass," and I'm like, "Okay," and he goes, "I think I might have that thing again." And I'm like, all right. So he's like, can you just tell me, like, whatever. And I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. So I I go down there, you know. Not that I go down anywhere. Yeah. He just, I was actually sitting. He was standing. Yes. Uh, But the cheeks come flying out of these shorts that he has on, right? And uh, I'm about, I would say, four inches from his asshole. I would say four inches. Yeah, you were in there. If the man farted. My eyelashes would have moved. That's how close I was to his asshole, okay? Um, and I saw a thing, you know, and then we, I was like, I see a thing. There's, and a bu- there's a bump there. There's a little something, right? So it's not on the lips of the asshole. It's, it's, to, the up, it's to the upper left of my, of my ass. It's the Canada of his asshole. Yeah. So he stands up. He, then he like turns around. We're just kind of having a conversation about it. And then he asks another question. And I don't know the answer. Cause now I don't remember the thing. So now he's got to turn around again. And I get to get a refresher course, <laughs> you know? And this time he's spreading. So, <laughs> so now I'm four inches from a spread Puerto Rican man's ass. Taking pictures with my phone. <laughs> he asked me to move my hair. <laughs> <laughs> asked me to move the hair. He's like, I'm trying to get a shot here. Can you move? Can you try moving your hair a little yeah. bit? So I, I, I was just, looking for flash. I, I, was, part, I parted it a little bit. We yeah, got a good shot of it. You, you know? got a good shot. It was a good shot. Yeah, it was. I just really hope that it's not it at all. Yeah, I, I hope not either because, you know, that's a that's a painful thing. I've had a couple friends get that as well. Yeah, it's it sucks. So hopefully I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, like I'm, I'm fucking scared, dude. I'm oh. really scared. Like, if there's anyone listening that's ever had this thing before, the penal nanal, they know. Penal nanal. <laughs> they know how fucking bad this is. Yeah. They know what this is like. Mm-hmm. So I hope it doesn't come back, uh, to its full potential. Yeah. Because if it comes back to its full potential. We're gonna have some straight issues. Yeah, we're I gonna... showed Joe the surgery, which I don't recommend you guys watching. Yeah, don't. But it looks like it just looks like uh, they filled up a man with goo, right? strawberry milk. Yeah. Uh, that put they put heavy cream into, and then they poked a hole in it, and then it's just flooding out of the sky, 
and it's literally like strawberry milk and heavy cream. It's it's the it's the wildest shit I've ever seen in my life. It was it was disgusting. Um, but yeah, we watched after being four inches from Danny's anus. Uh, we then watched other anuses. Yes. Uh, get surgicalized. And then on. new anuses too, because they gave that guy a whole new butthole. That oh, guy. that one guy have, must have had the biggest cyst ever, because they cut a fucking hole in PCP this man. pipe into his <laughs> fucking ass. That guy could shit out of. He's got options now. That's yeah, what that I, was. That was insane. Yeah. But I remember when the, I got it my first time, and they had to uh, drain mine. Um, and they gave you like these shots, like no one your ass. They sh- they shot your butt. They shot my ass, yeah. So they they give you these ones, and it hurts so bad because it's so pressurized. Wait, which hurt? My ass. Oh no! So, I'm, saying, so, I'm saying like the the shots hurt. Yeah. You know, if you if you blew on my ass, just went, it would hurt. That's how fucking like, you know, um, if you slam your finger in a car door, yes, and you have like that pressure feeling where it's so much pain, yes, that's what it feels like. On your ass. Whoa. Yeah. So what does it feel like when you poop? Oh, it was it was it was terrible. It made it worse. Yo, there would be times I was trying to poop, I would almost fucking pass out. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's yeah, what, dude. That's... that's how fucking bad it was. And then I remember when they took me to the doctor. First of all, my parents, I love them to death, but they're just like idiots. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And Why? like they would be like, oh yeah, it'll like go away. It's like this. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna go away, but like. I'm in physical pain yeah. so bad every day that to the point where when I got went to the doctor, they were like, dude, you could get like poisoning in your blood and shit. Oh, yeah, because if it pops inside. Yeah, they were like, dude, you could get like not sepsis. They said something else. But I was like, dude, like they, you, you could have like some shit. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, man. So uh, they were like, luckily, you know, they did blood tests and stuff. They swabbed it and, like, sent it to a lab to make sure, like, I didn't have, like, whatever. Swab that butt. Yeah. So what they did was they put these little shots in my butt. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, maybe, Whoa, a bunch of shots? Yeah, they did, like, a box. Like, pop, 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 pop. And they were like, all right. Um, damn, dude. I don't. I feel weird, gross telling this story, but it's, it's whatever. Hey, man, this is life. Yeah, this is life. This is life. <laughs> and I'm sure there's people out there who have had it. Maybe. Yeah, there's people out here with pink no night no sis. <laughs> So I'm laying there and it's like, all right, like they, they literally let you down. They cut a little box out where they're going to cut your little butt. And, uh, you know, now my butt's numb, but it hurts so much like the needles going in. But like now that I'm like, you're numbed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm feeling good. Now I'm feeling OK. And they're like, all right, Danny, like we're going to do it. You ready? I was like, yo, you have just, no idea. how I ready. No, <laughs> Yeah. I was like, yeah, just do it. As soon as she made the incision. It felt like I popped the biggest pimple of like that was like taking over the world. <laughs> like like it imprisoned everyone on planet Earth and I popped it and saved everyone. I was just like, "Oh my god." Like I almost came from like being relieved. Relieved. Yeah. And they were like, "Does that feel good, Danny?" I was like, "Yo, you have no fucking idea." But when they're pushing it out, I'm like, "Yo, What's going on in here? This is like a lot. I thought it was bleeding, but it was all like pus and stuff. Yeah. And I smelled it. Dude, when I smelled this, I was like, there is no way a human body can produce something that like this that isn't shit. I feel like I can smell it right now. Yeah, it smells like, think about garbage water. Yeah. Right? And there was like hair in it, like skin in it, like disgusting disgusting it was awful it was awful an old boot and honestly this was always something that i said i wouldn't wish this thing on my worst worst enemy wow like if you killed my parents well well from before they might have deserved it because they didn't bring me to the hospital but Mm. if you like killed my parents i wouldn't wish a peel and idle cyst on you damn that's how bad it is i mean we both have had friends who have had it yeah and they and they were they were also being like, yo, it's debilitating. Yo, like, it's I, horrendous. They can't move. I remember they were like, yo, I can't walk. No, I, walk. I, dude, I couldn't walk. I couldn't sit in a car. I had to lay down in the back seat of the car to get to the doctor. Dude, I would just I would have literally like started jabbing myself with a knife in my aim. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People do that. Sometimes they they pop on their own. But mine doesn't look like that right now. Right, no, it, it looks. I mean, hey, listen, I know what it looks like. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's very little. It's just causing me a little 
discomf. Discomfy. And you're having like some flashbacks. Yeah, I'm having like anxious flashbacks. PTSD. It's like, yeah, and then before we get on a fucking plane to Nashville, I want to make sure my asshole's not going to explode. That's the only thing. Dude, can you imagine that? If I got to Nashville and like it reached its full infection, I no, would I'm die. I'm talking about when we <laughs> reach 35,000 feet and then your butt just blew up. <sighs> I, I don't even want to think about it, honestly. No, nah, I, I think you're fine. Uh, I'd be terrified. Like, it's just weird, like, to have, like, a physical ailment that is just strange. Yeah, that's very weird. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it'd be different if I, like, like, nobody really knows about this. But, like, people do. It's one of those weird things. Like, if you had it, you know it. Yeah, when like, when my friend was trying to explain what it was, I'm just like, what? It doesn't make any sense. About? Yeah, I was like, I don't know what you mean, uh, so I don't really know about it. But you know, we want to <laughs> we want to bring awareness to Pino Nino. Uh, <laughs> Get yourself checked. All right. What's it called? Pilo Nidal cyst. Pilo Nidal. Yeah, it means a nest of hair. In in Greek, I believe. Or, oh, this this is this is a Greek thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or, or they got or, hairy assholes. Yeah. So, that's what that's what I'm kind of dealing with right now. So I'm gonna get it checked out. And see if they could just, you know, take care of it now instead of, like, have to go through the whole pain. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Pain and suffering. Yes. Because I think the older I get, I feel like your immune system gets worse. I think that's Is that well the truth, documented. right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. well documented. I mean, depending on how you take care of your body. Right. So it's like, but now, like, I have insurance and, like, I love going to the doctor. Yeah. So, like, I, I wouldn't mind getting this taken care of now. Yeah. You're like one of those crazy Disney people that go, like, 12 times a year. But you're, like, at the doctor. Fast pass and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know, like, everyone by their first name. Hey, Betty. Back. Yeah, yeah, hey, <laughs> what's up? Yeah, good to see you. Leon, I'll see you at the convention. I get, like, emails from, like, my blood doctors. About, huh. about just about, like, blood conventions. and Which is kind of weird. Like Blood like, convention? Yeah, like, where you go to donate blood. And oh, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I, that's really, like... I don't really like blood. Like, I'm not one of those people that will pass out if they see blood, but I don't like it. So no. to just be in a room where I know that there's a bunch of blood circulating yeah, kind of freaks me. I also just don't like... I don't like the ER that, like, I like I am a private so, doctor. I'm a hypochondriac in hospitals because I feel like I, I every fucking surface I touch right now is a different disease. But, the like, the weirdest ailment you ever had was probably when your face blew up, right? Yeah, dude, I had a fucking, uh, cause I got a toothache and then I never told my parents cause I hated going to the dentist. It just became like an abscess and then it became an abscess and it, yo, my face, I have a, my, my sister sent it to me like a couple months ago, but I, I don't know where it is, but there's a picture of me. My face is literally like this. Oh, that's terrifying. And I woke up and I, I was, I had a fever. I was super sick cause it was Did all they drain it. With, yeah. They drained it, it right? It was like filled with like pus through my fucking mouth, by the way. You want to talk about gross shit? <laughs> so I, they had to go in and do this thing. And then uh, it wasn't like what you said, where it was like just flowing out. It was, <laughs> it was slower. It was slower than that. You yeah, know? but it, was, that, was that as relieving as what happened to me, though? No, it wasn't because oh, it was a very sucks. slow process. So they have to go in and put like a drain, which yeah. I don't even know what the fuck. But uh, they put this thing... Uh, in my mouth or gums or whatever, and then I literally had to keep spitting out. Oh, yeah, it was gross, man. But I had a fever. I was almost passing out. Like, yeah, dude, I this shit was probably fucking you up. You probably would have died if you went like a couple more days. Yeah, man, I was <laughs> fucked up. My face was blown out to here. I was like eleven. My buddy got his finger closed in a car door once and like got like a blood infection. Yeah, scary. and he had to like wear like this weird contraption that like siphoned out his blood. I swear, I'm not making this up. I don't know what the device was, but it was like it made sure like he like didn't die, and he was just like walk around like holding the shocker up and like all fucked up finger. <laughs> shocker. My buddy lost his finger once doing construction. Yeah, one of my one of my friends lost like the tip of his finger. It's fucking disgusting. It's like he like where your the bottom of your nail starts. That's what he lost. Yeah, his finger looks like an uncircumcised dick. If you if you yeah, but if you like shook his hand or you just like he was waving his hands in front of you, you wouldn't even notice. And I think he's got a nail growing. Ugh. <laughs> random, random nail? Phantom nail. Gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, like, like that. See, you got to think, though. I wouldn't ask any just anybody to look at my ass. 
Oh yeah, I feel I feel honored. It, like you know, like yeah. I would. I, it, it's a health. It's a health hazard. Also, no hesitation on this side. Yeah, he really was really not like I was on mean board. about it at all. He was no, like, I'll no, check no. your, I'll check out your butt. Yeah, you know. He actually told me to go to the doctor today, but I was like, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm trying to get you. Yeah, you yeah. I'm I want just, that butt ship shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just afraid of them being like, oh man, this thing goes all the way down your dick. And then what? They got cut off my dick. I mean, let's get to the sponsors. Let's get to the sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's man. just I hate I hate whenever I have like a weird physical thing. Don't we all? All right, let's get to these sponsors, huh? Perfect timing. Uh, you know, we were talking about smelling terrible before, but now we can smell good with Native Deodorant. Yes. <laughs> native Deodorant is, uh, you know, they have uh, safe, simple, effective products that people use in the bathroom every day. They have over 9,000 five-star reviews, um, and they're made without aluminum or talc. Which yeah. I don't know what the hell those things are, but they sound really bad. I mean, I know aluminum. I know that shouldn't be in your your deodorant that you're putting in your no in pores, your pores or whatever. Um, so they make safe stuff, and it smells great. Mm. The vanilla one I have sometimes I throw it on when I want to smell sexy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said, love I love that. Said like Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, uh, they're amazing. Um, I also have the bar of soap. That's lavender and rose. Mm. Dog. It's amazing. Yeah, it's um, so definitely check out uh, Native. Um, I know some people want to get more conscious about the stuff that they're using or ingesting, uh, you know, and, and you can start with something just like Native. So, you know, you don't have any uh, any weird stuff you're putting into your body here. Oh, yeah. Um, but for 20% off your first purchase, uh, visit NativeDeodorant.com and use the promo code BASEMENT20 um, during checkout. Again, that is 20% off your first purchase. Uh, visit nativedeodorant.com and use the promo code uh, BASEMENT20 at checkout. Um, next, we have a company called Public Rec. Okay, Public Rec, which I'm a huge fan of these pants. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, these are the pants that we got. Hell yeah. Um, but the pants are, are amazing. Like, think about it. It's like they're like sweatpantsy, but they're dressy. But not too jeansy but not too jeansy yeah you know what i mean like they're the perfect like uh whatever this is performance meets comfort meets uh it's like a concoction of yes. the best sort of pants yes you know what i mean and it's good for anything because you could just wear them as sweatpants and be like yo i'm good i'm sweat panted you know but you can also i wore them to a restaurant Right with like a button down shirt, and it's like this guy's got some nice old slacks on. Yeah. But I'm I'm sweat panted. It's, yeah, but it, it, every good thing about any kind of pant is in these pants. Let's They're just say that all day, every day pants is what they call them. Boom. Um, they close the gap between a stylish pair and a comfortable wear. Damn, that rhymes. These people are on fire. Drum Someone bars. needs a raise over there. Sign them. Um, <laughs> sign them. Um, they're the first sweats that have waist and inseam sizing. So whether you're short, tall, or somewhere in between, they per they fit perfectly. Um, but yeah, I, I I I love them, man. Like, there's no. Yeah, I've worn them a bunch. I, I'm very into the public rank pants. I'm into the public rank, and like they even look good when you uh, roll the bottoms. Too. Yeah, that's what I do. They're the greatest pant. I love the pant. Yeah, I love the pant. So I go love, buy the pant. pant. Go buy the pants. Okay, so that they could stay on the show. Maybe send me more pants. Yeah, that's you know true. what I'm saying. Um, go to publicrec.com slash basement today and get 10% off your first pair of their all-day, everyday pants automatically applied at checkout, okay? Again, that is publicrec, uh, P-U-B-L-I-C-R-E-C.com slash basement. Get that 10% off your first pair of their all-day, air day pant, okay? Um, don't sleep on this rare opportunity, peeps, all right? There's always free shipping, um, always free U.S. shipping and free returns. Um, so, yeah, go check them out. Next up on the sponsor list, we have Stitch Fix, which has, re which has reimagined the way that we buy and find clothes. Okay, it's like hiring a, a stylist. A stylist. I was going to say a designer, but that's not that's not the right thing. Um, but yeah, so it's like basically having like a, a, a stylist. So what you do is you go on their site, um, you answer a couple questions. You know, you like patterns, you like this, you like that. What kind of stuff do you wear? Blah blah blah. Um, your favorite styles and your budget even 
um, and your personal styles will spring into action. And they will hand select five different items, okay? And they put them in a box, they ship it to your house, and their styling fee is only $20, mm. which is waived uh, if you keep all five items, okay? And, uh, you know, once you, once they arrive, you try them on and you only pay for what you keep. So you get some new stuff every month that maybe you even forget about. That's my favorite part about it is that when it shows up, I'm like, I forgot I had to think. And then I just got some new clothes to wear. True that. Um, so it's amazing. So go check out Stitch Fix, uh, stitchfix.com slash basement to get started now. Keep off uh, uh, five items in your box and you'll get 25% off your entire purchase. That is stitchfix.com slash basement, people. Go get a stylist. Stitchfix.com slash basement. Um, and lastly, we have Butcher Box. Mm. Okay. As everyone knows, well, I don't know if everyone knows, but I just got gas in the apartment, so the boy can start cooking. Chef, this, this is cooking. Exactly. Um, Butcher Box, though, um, every week, Butcher Box, they will ship a curated selection of high quality meat right to your home. All the meat is free of antibiotics mm. uh, and added hormones. Um, each box has 9 to 11 pounds of meat, which is enough for 24 people. Mm. You don't have to go buy meat anymore. You don't even have to think about it. Yeah. You know, and they have, like, crazy... Th- I mean, they're not crazy in the sense of, like, they're crazy. Like, you go to the store, you get some, like, slabs of chicken or whatever. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But when you get Butcher Box, you get wild-caught Alaskan salmon, mm. grass-fed and finished beef, free-range organic chicken, her- heritage pork. Like, they have they have bison I can't. I, have, I haven't seen a bison at my supermarket. No. You know, butcher box. They got the you, good. They got the good eat meats. I also like the fact. You know what I love about a, a, like a, a thing like this is that you don't have to think about it. You know, if 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 you eat meat and like you're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna get butcher box. Like the money you would spend on butcher box is the amount of money you would spend at a, at a supermarket or whatever. And now you don't have to worry about it. You just get these high quality meats that show up to your door and you go, oh, cool. I'm good for the month. There it is. And then you're good. You know, it's less things to worry about. Um, so go go check that out. Uh, with Thanksgiving right around the corner, now's the perfect time to give ButcherBox a try. Sign up today and get a free turkey. What? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> They're giving away turkeys plus $20 off your first box. Get that turkey out of the way and get that 20 bucks. Yo, dude. hold on. Turkeys are hard to come by this time of year. They're giving away turkeys? Yeah, dude. I'll be honest. I didn't read that far. And now they're giving away turkeys. This may be the greatest sponsor of all time. Um, sign up right now and get a free turkey. You heard right. Uh, plus $20 off your first box. Uh, go to butcherbox.com slash basement or enter the promo code basement at checkout. Uh, that's butcherbox.com slash basement or enter the promo code basement at checkout for a free turkey and $20 off your first box. Fire. That's incredible. That is amazing. <laughs> that is incredible. That is incredible. Yeah, I've had a weird I've had a weird last couple of days. Also, I hate how this looks. Like where 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 your bicep meets your thing, like the fat right there. Does your arm do that? I don't know. You can't get up there. I can't. I can't. If I go like this, it's all right. Well, you don't like that you have like a, a line? I oh, think everyone has that. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I just, I really just noticed it. Now, it's, it's bothering me. It kind of looks like a baby's arm now that I think about oh, it. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know how like babies are so like fat? They're chunky. So that, dude, first of all, that is ridiculous. You, everyone has that. <clears throat> you would have to be like sick for it to be not folded over. That's true. Um, but you know how babies just have random fat rolls like in the middle of their forearm? Yeah, and they have like a crease between their wrist oh and their forearm. Oh my god, their their wrist is yeah. screaming. Yeah, it's... I'm like, yo, is this baby getting circulation? Yeah, because it's... <laughs> it looks like it's. You know what it looks like? You know when they at it's the delis, non-existent. You know the Italian delis where they tie up the meat real tight. Yes, <laughs> it kind of looks like a like a tight tied up salami. Yeah, I'm like, why is your wrist not there? Yeah, what is that, dude? Don't fat they, wrists. Don't they say? Your brain, you. I wonder if your brain grows, or does it stay the same size? Um, I, I, my head grew. I know the head grows, but does the brain grow? Um, I don't know. Hmm. It has to. I feel like if it did, we'd know the answer to this. It has to. It has to. Why does it have to? They also say your eyes don't grow. They, they're the same size from the moment you're born until the That's day you false. die. No. 
I don't think it's. I don't think it's false. Look at my. Look at my eyes. Yeah. Put these on a baby's face. Yeah, they're just eyes. Huh? Can you, oh. I'm, I'm gonna Google baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah can, Google. I'm gonna Google a baby. No, no, no. Can no? Just Google if if the eyes grow. I googled baby face. <laughs> I'm googling a baby's face. They have smaller eyelids and a smaller face. Now Google Google do your eyes grow. See, look at this baby's face. That's cute. That's a eh, that's a that's a all right baby. No, that's a cute baby. Yeah, the hair is throwing me off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it does look a little like yeah, yeah. you you know, you you had a rough go. Yeah, yeah. You worked in finance. All right, can you Google if your brain grows or not? I I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. And I'm going to say that your eyes don't grow. Does your brain grow? The grain the grain. The brain grows at an amazing rate during development. Uh, mm. I think this is all like Oh, like the like uh, the frontal lobe grows, like shit, like that. I'm talking about the size, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm talking about the. Do, okay, does your brain grow in size? Uh, the brain. Gr- no, it does the same. Thing. <laughs> the same sense. The the brain grows at an amazing rate. Um, I really wonder. Uh, oh, oh, the brain continues to grow for a few years after a person is born, and by the age of two years old, the brain is about eighty percent of the adult size. Damn, dude. Yeah. Big old brain and a big old eye. brain, and then look up the eyes if the eyes ever grow. This do, is the one I think I'm do right your about. Your eyes grow in size. Your eyeballs get bigger as you grow up. When you're born, your eyeballs are each 16 millimeters wide. But by the Whoa, time how you turn, they know that? They're out here measuring eyes, dog. That's weird. But by the time you turn three, they will grow to each be 23 millimeters wide. And then that's it. Your eyeballs will reach their maximum size when you hit puberty around 24 millimeters wide. Oh, so that's like one millimeter. Dude, you ever see a newborn's fucking... If you put human eye, these eyes I wonder if on a newborn's face, it would have no more face. I wonder if there's any part of the body that stays the same size. No, it can't be. Your heart has to get bigger. All, all, your, all your organs have to get Not bigger. Not trying to be funny, but like micro penises, maybe. Yeah, maybe their penis stays the same. Not like the same, but it definitely like doesn't grow a lot. Yeah, it stays the same after a life. I would have thought our brains grew into our, into like uh, puberty. I don't know. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. Don't they say the brain is like your hands put together like this? Yeah, or is that the heart? No, or no, right. this is the heart. This is the like heart. Fist. Is your fist, and then they said both fists together is supposed to supposedly your brain. Yeah. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a bumpy butt boy with a weird brain. Yeah, I know. You got a stingy butt. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, don't let this get to where it needs to get. I've already had such a weird. I had such a weird weekend between my butt and then uh, I told what I took Eli for a walk. Okay, yeah. listen to this story. Listen, wait till you guys fucking hear this one. And I and, and this is this is you got you got. The butt stuff going on? At the same time. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? I'm a little nervous, a little anxious. Let me go for a walk. I take Eli for a walk, mm-hmm. right? We go we go to the dog park by my apartment, okay? And I'm there. It's around 7.30, 8, you know. I want to say, well, when was that? Saturday night? Saturday night. And I'm there. Usual suspects are there. Usual dogs. Usual dog parents. And there's a kid that usually comes by every once in a while at night uh, with his mom because he likes dogs. And um, he has some stuff. He's um, mentally challenged. He's slower than most. Yes. Yes. OK. Um, there's no right way to say that. I don't way. know the right ways to I th- say. I also think mentally challenged now is like not there. Off. And then like mentally disabled isn't right. I don't know. He's got. Yeah, he's, he's got, he's got so- some stuff. Yes. It's all I, I don't. That's the only safe way I know what to say. Yeah. Okay, so he's met Eli before, and he's met the other dogs in the park, and he's really, really sweet kid. He always comes over and he's like, oh, can I pet your dog? I'm like, yeah, man, fucking pet my dog, dude. Go for it. Have a good time. So we're sitting on the bench. He's sitting on the bench. I stand up. Eli's under the bench. He comes out, and he's facing the kid now because the kid's giving him attention. Uh I'm standing up just like, you know, watching, and I'm like, ah, this is cool. And the kid puts his hand up and just slaps Eli on the head. Did he follow through? Just went like this. This is Eli's head. And he just goes like this. 
Damn, he hit him hard. Yeah, and I see Eli wince. I see like, ooh, you know when that your dog does that? Yeah, like they close their eyes, kind of like. Eh. Damn, this kid slapped the shit out of your Yo, dog. Yo, he slapped my dog. Oh. And a part of me got really angry. I mean, uh, you know, I got really, really angry. And this kid probably is between the ages of thirteen and fifteen, maybe. I, I, like he's like. Uh, He's young. He's a teenager, but he's not. He's not like five or six. Right, right, right. You know, he could do some damage to a dog. Yeah, he could hurt. He could hurt a dog. Yeah. So, on contact, I closed my eyes. Like, what am I gonna do right now mm-hmm. in my head? Mm-hmm. And then I'm also factoring in everything that's that's going on. Yeah, you can't scream at this kid who's like. No, I can't. Thankfully, his mother was there to like reprimand him a little bit. Yeah. But even she, like, I think she kind of let him off the hook. Really? A little too easily. She was like, oh, don't do that. She was like, you know, like, we don't do that. It's not your dog. We don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that to any dog. Thank you. And then I was just like, in my head, she looks at me. She goes, I'm so sorry. And I just go, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Because, yo, inside... It's just fire and brimstone. Yeah. You know, I was like, dude, I offered my dog up to this person, you know, and yes, he has some stuff. I get it. God, I'm sorry. But watching this person slap my dog. Pretty hard. Pretty hard on its head. And Eli has a little head. I became so angry. Did he make a noise? No, he didn't. He didn't go. He didn't do any of that. But I just saw him do like the. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Why did he slap him? Do you know? Because I just didn't think he was he was excited. Eli was excited as well. So I think he was just kind of matching his energy and just pat, like, fucking patted him on the head. Like a hard pet? Yeah, because you pat you pat dogs. Was, was it was it an was it an angry no, the slap? No, the fucking hand came up. He didn't slap him across. He went like this and pow. So was it a, a hard pet or was it a, 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 like, this was like a, you know. It was a hard pet. There was no malice behind it. Oh, oh I thought there was some like, no, oh, no, no. He was just knee. like, fuck you. Yeah. But no, no, no. He was just like, ah, bang. Oh, yeah. Hard and, pet. Yeah. Like he was slapping the fucking family f- fucking feud buzzer. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, man. Yeah. Now, is a part, is, am I wrong for feeling angry? No, nah, I mean. At, at, at that situation? Nah, dude. I didn't so, act on it. A dude slaps your dog. You're going to be upset. Yeah. And it's like, you don't punch a kid in the face. Like he's, you know, he's got. Yeah. I think like, I think I handled it the right way. I didn't say anything. I said it was okay. But for some reason. I'll tell you what. I couldn't get over this kid slapping my dog. That kid's not petting that dog anymore. Fuck no. Yeah. (laughs) You know, and and I don't want to throw anybody on. Nobody listens to the show that's in that part. All right. But another dog parent said you know he's done that with my dog before oh so there were there were lookers looker honors looker on on, 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 on lookers, lookers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so they were on lookers look honors. and they and they saw it you know like people are so they have weird dog park rules i'm like this is a yeah this is a habitual slapper yeah yeah so she was like I, i'm just letting you know mm-hmm. he's done that with mine before as there's, well. there's a pattern of, of uh, hard pet behavior here yeah but like i didn't want to join this barrage of like let's team up on this kid with stuff yeah you didn't want to light your torch or anything yeah i'm like i'm like all right like whatever like my dog will live i'm not gonna ban the kid i'm not gonna ban the kid from the park but do i let him pet eli if he comes over again hey, and man. how do i approach this sitch i see i say you just you start like, once you see him enter the park... I see him at least once a month. You should do a little jog when you see him. Be like, oh, okay, we're going to run over here. And yeah. just kind of get out of it. Because I'm not even the person to be like, all right, but if you're going to pet him, you have to be nice. I feel weird even saying that. Why? I wouldn't feel that bad. If I if I was in a situation where I was lying, like <laughs> sitting down and the dog's with me, the kid comes and sits next to me again, and, I'm, and he's like, oh, can I pet him? And I'm like, what am I going to say? Dude, nah! <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, but you got to be, you got to be gentle. Yeah. But I also don't want to talk to him like that, but like he, he has like some stuff. It's not like, 
It's not like oh, if he was younger, it would be easier. You be, don't want to come off as disrespectful. Yeah, because like the kids yeah. like fifteen or sixteen would be like, "All right, buddy, but if you're gonna touch him, you gotta be, use your inside hands." See, you know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to fucking do that to a kid. I just feel like I don't. Know. I don't know how to talk. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's like um. It's like if me and you were walking down the street, right? And a 13-year-old kid said, hey, fuck you. Yeah. What do we do? I go, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all we could say. Yeah. But 13 if a 13-year-old comes up to you and punches you right in your face, you can't do anything. <sighs> For yeah, the most part. That would be tough. He'd get a good push. Oh, yeah. He'd get a very good push. I'd do that one where you grab their shirt and like kind of like tornado them to the ground. I'd probably just hold them by his shirt and like... <laughs> Call his parents or something. You keep fighting back, but but what do I what do I do if the, if this kid comes back? I say you try to get out of there. I say you let him pet the dog, or I say you. you but what if it was an isolated incident? and Now I'm just creating this this horrible scenario in my head. I don't think it's a horrible scenario because I've done that, with, like with with like other dogs. Yeah. In in the dog park, that if they fuck with Charlie once, yeah. then I'm like, well, when, if I see this dog coming in here, I'm gonna leave because I'm not. Like, it's not worth it. I hate when people bring dogs that aren't dog park ready. Dude, when they bring them into the dog parks and they this have them. This is white people problems while I want And they here, have them on their, <laughs> and they have them on their leash. I'm like, yo, if this dog can't be by itself, like, don't come in here. Yeah, just take this fucking asshole somewhere else. Yeah, dude, go take him home. Yeah. We'll put him in the garage and bench press or whatever yeah, this thing does. Yeah, fucking dog sucks. There was a dog that did that with Charlie that was, like, attacking. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I was furious that day. I, that was the closest I've ever gotten to, like. Punting a dog's face. No, well. No, because this dog was brolic. I would have had to do it out of like saving his life. But this is the only time that I was like, <laughs> I love how you're, you're kind of scared of the dog too, <laughs> dude. This dog was terrifying. But like, I was ready to go to war with it. But I that was the closest I got to just screaming at a woman in public. Yeah, and just like losing my shit because it was a big ass pit bull. And this is not nothing against pit bulls because Charlie, one of Charlie's best friends from the old park was a pit bull. Yeah, Eli's part pit, I think. Uh, but one of his best friends was like a pit bull, and that dog was fucking huge. Was it the guy that owned the yeah. laundromat? Yes. Yeah, that dog was. I think his name was Ziggy, right? Yeah, his name was Ziggy. And the dog's head is huge. Tremendous. And, and they were boys. They were like, they would, they were cool. That but dog anyways, is the man. Yeah, he was mad cool. Yeah. But it's fast as shit too. Yeah. So I go. I'm in the park, and I'm by myself. There's no one else in there. This woman walks by with a with a pit, and it has one of those collars that like digs into their neck. I'm not a fan of those because I feel like if if you need that, then this is clearly a misbehaving dog, and you need to like yeah. And that you know dog what I'm is saying? that dog is clearly just trying to rip things fucking heads off constantly, probably. Right, like you've had some trouble with it, and that's why you had to get that collar. I may be wrong there, but that's just what I assume. So Charlie meets him at the fence, like on the sidewalk. Charlie greeting. <laughs> and they're like smelling each other. They're both wagging their tails and they're like, you know, playing and whatever. So I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. Like, you know, I had never seen this dog before. So the woman brings him in to the park and then lets him off the leash. And I'm, I'm cool with whatever. I don't care. So I'm just, you know, I'm petting the dog and then they're running around doing whatever. And then all of a sudden this fucking dog just like saw red mm. and like went after Charlie, like like a like a vicious. You know, in dogs, like they get vicious. They and turn like, their head sideways a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he starts doing that. So now I'm like, yo. So I run over there, right? Yeah. And the dog now, like I have, uh, like so Charlie's getting like whatever. What he he does this thing. I forgot the the term for it, but I ended up looking it up afterwards. But when dogs start going crazy, or there's like a fight in the dog park, or there's this and there's that. He'll make distance between the problem and me. So he'll get in front of me and, yeah. and keep me behind him. Yeah. So he's like protecting me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So he starts doing that. So I know like he's there's something going on here. So I go over there and he has a harness that has like a hook on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm holding on to it. And this dog is just making like drive bys, like sprinting from one side of the park and coming towards us and then launching at me or Charlie. Like and like chomping. Whoa! So I'm like, yo, I'm like throwing kicks at it and shit every time it's r driving, like running by. Yeah. And I help, I have Charlie, and I keep turning him away from the so dog. So you're, you're like rotating with him. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I'm putting myself before him because I'm like, I'll take a bite to the leg and then fucking absolutely kill this dog. Yeah, yeah. But if he bites Charlie, it's a wrap. You know. So I'm like doing this, and you know, I honestly, he made like six passes before her, his owner did anything. 
And it was like, she was like, oh. It's, you know. those, and I was those like, yo, worst, yo, though. nothing. Like, your dog almost bit my leg off. Those are the worst dog owners in history. And I didn't say anything to her, but I literally, that was the closest I've ever been to being like, yo, keep your fucking dog out of this. You know, yeah. I wanted to lose it. Yeah, you wanted to go white so mom. Mad. Yeah, I was so mad. I wanted to go full white mom. I went full white mom on those kids that one time. Oh, didn't they, like, they threw like a rock at a cat or something? No, they were throwing snowballs at a cat. Oh, all right. And like there was these kids, they were like 15 years old probably. <laughs> Let's throw snowballs at this cat, they, all right. There was like a cat walking by, and they would, like they made a snowball and like threw it. And they threw one, and I was just like, what the fuck are these kids doing? And then they went over, and they're like petting it or whatever. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's their cat. Like I, I was mad confused. Yeah. But then they like... We're throwing snowballs at it, like three snowballs, and then I was just like, I was, and I lost it. Yeah, I'll because get like, you. This is the kind of like weird shit that like little cycles set, sets you off. So yeah. I was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And then they got mad, scared, and ran yeah. away. Those are like the three kids that like accidentally burn down someone's house like five years from now. Yeah, or like, but, uh, oh, God, I, you know, I was, I was just like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You ever throw such a perfectly placed snowball that you could never make that throw again in your life? Like you'd have like these amazing. <laughs> Tosses, yeah, these amazing feats of snowball throwing. Yeah, I've only had two ever in my entire life. So, oh my god, they stand out to you. That oh, one hundred percent. Were you throwing it at people or like at people? Oh. At people? At people? I've hit stop signs from deep and been like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was Street like, lights, never throw it again. Street lights, because yeah. we used to do red. Uh, obviously, it's red, yellow, green, and we used to do um, whatever it was lit. You had to hit the the light. Right. So we used to do, uh, what's the highest one? Red, yeah. right? Red was one, yellow, yellow was two, green was three. So we used to play that game, and like the first person to like ten would win. Like I never won that game. I was terrible at it. I was the worst. This one time, my brother and his friends are outside, and like they're making my older brother Jared. They're all like ten years older than like me and my friends, and they're talking mad shit. It's probably the. Something. What the fuck was that? I don't know, man. This place gets scarier day, every fucking week I work here. I thought someone was walking in. Yeah. But, um, so, like, they're talking shit to us. Like, yeah, you little motherfuckers ain't shit. Like, whatever. Like, suck my dick. Like, they're all just, like, sunning us. So, we're like, all right. So, like, we're walking, and I just have, like, one of those, like, nah. Let's stand up for us. I've had enough of yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> like, a stand up for myself moment. Yeah. So, I fucking put this fucking beautiful fucking snowball together oh, when it's like half slushy yeah it's half slushy there's a little fucking like little bit of dirt in there it's just so to packed. keep it packed up and i said i'm gonna hit his, his name was wally and i said was he fucking 60 years old <laughs> nah, wally. Nah, nah, nah. wally uh my brother my brother jared one of my J brother jared's best friends and i said yo i'm gonna fucking hit wally in the head with this fucking snowball and they were like yo chill like yo they're older i said i don't give a shit Son, when I tell you that I fucking Steve Young this fucking ball, <laughs> I couldn't not have thrown this thing any more accurate ever in the history of accurate throwing. And you just crushed him. In the side of the face. Oof. In the side of the face. And we took off into the cemetery that was all, everyone started laughing at him. Because, like, he was the one that, like, would bring the boom box out. And, like, you know, like, they had the little crew going around the neighborhood. I said, I'm going to fucking crush him. So I, <laughs> I hit him with that shit, and we ran into the cemetery. He tried to chase us for a little while. He didn't catch us. This fucking guy waited for me to come home. Waited for me to come home and, like, trap me down and, like, put, like, mad snow in my face and, like, let me go back inside. <laughs> this guy waited 10 years older than me, waited for me to come home, like, three hours later. Just fucking, like, it's got insecure, you. Got me back. Yeah, insecure, Insecure. But, yeah, man. I I've have, done stuff like that. So I Isn't it the best? Well, like, I threw a pine cone. So like there was this kid. Damn, you got some air out of a pine cone. Those are tough to throw. Well, I had a, I had a, a, a you know, a vantage point. Okay. So I, uh, <laughs> I, I had high ground. Um, I, uh, there was this garage at the top of our block. That, yeah. Like if you, if you go behind, you could climb it. Yeah. And there was like this little clubhouse, right? So, it was a garage right next to another garage. So yeah. there was a small space in between that. And over the years, so many leaves got in between that, that it made like a surface that you could walk on basically. Okay. <laughs> so if you go in through the alleyway behind the thing, you climb this little fence and now you're standing on like a bunch of leaves that have been compacted over the years. And then when you walk to the end, there's like a, there's like a little, it's basically like a little clubhouse. 
And there was like a porno magazine that we like shoved in there. Yes. Because like, yo, we get to let's let's go back to the clubhouse and like look at fucking Naomi Campbell's tits. Fire. You know. Yeah. So uh, we go there, and this kid that we were friends with, for whatever reason, was like mad at us. I don't remember why, uh, but he was doing that thing. Like you know when kids are mad, but they have to be like. Like, if you're mad at your friends, like, you can't be mad at your friends and just be at your, like, you have to be mad in front of them. Oh, yeah. You know, you got to be gotta like, show them you're you'd angry. be like, oh, all right, all right. And just, like, be there. So, we're, he knows we're outside. So, we're on top of the garage now looking at him. And he goes inside and gets, like, his, like, binder of Pokemon cards and then sits out with his back against his garage like this. Sulking, just, sulking like a motherfucker. Yeah, and just, like, whatever. So, I just take a pine cone. Right, and I, I don't even know why I did it, but I just took a pine cone and I was like, <laughs> in the face, yeah, that's so not, hard, <laughs> dude. Hit him in the face, immediately starts crying, runs inside, and I'm like, fuck, dude. And this kid's older than me by like three or four years. Like, yeah, I crushed him with yeah. this thing. Yes, and I had an arm on me back. That's trying. Don't a forget, triumph. I was like a prodigy back then, so I was putting some fire behind. Did that you like ball. sidearm it? I just fucking just I just got him and it went all the way across the street and bang hit him right in the face and he had a hat on that uh. was looking down and it hit him in the face so he was crying went inside yeah 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 and I'm like fuck so I go home and then him and his mom showed up at my door really yeah damn that's, and then my mom the just fucking killed me yeah it was great it was a good time though it was a good throw it was a good throw it was a legendary throw yeah. one for the ages you know everyone needs a legendary throw in their life yeah. I remember one time I was, we used to fucking do a, we used to do this game. We used to call it like Jeter where you would get like these and you would try to throw shit like sidearm. Yeah. Yeah. Running and running and throwing or like jumping and throwing. So we were doing this one time, like me and my buddy, Matt, uh, and there was this girl, Dana there. <laughs> yo, me and Matt are doing this shit. Yo, <laughs> Me and Matt are throwing these balls like back and forth at each other. I shit you not. This kid ducks. This thing hits Dana so hard in her face. A baseball? No, 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 no. Just a snowball, but it's like an ice ball. Like it's been like a couple days. Like you know, like how it's yeah, like yeah. when you it hurts your hand when you dig into it, like, yeah. like that. One of those, and then this shit blew up in her face. It made her nose bleed. It was bad. But when I tell you, I could not have thrown this thing any better. It was, I would have got signed by the Yankees if they saw that. Throw. That's how fucking good it was. Drilled her in the face. And, like, you know when girls. People like, get hurt in the snow. Yeah, you know when girls, like, in high school, like, they don't want to cry? Like, kind of. Like, they don't want to, like, Ooh, they don't want to do that. I've seen mad girls cry. I know I have, too, but they don't want to. Because it's like, I don't want them to think I'm a crybaby bitch right now. Okay. So she, like, toughed it up and, like, was like, Ugh, like, got, like. Tough on me. Oh, man. And then that put me in a situation, too. I was like, yo, I can't fucking hit a girl, dude. She's about to beat your shit up. Yeah, I was like, I got to take this L. I was like, I got to let it. Thankfully, she didn't beat me up. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no. Thank thankfully, she didn't beat me up. But, like, you, you got to take that L. Just like like yeah. what we were saying about... uh, The 13-year-old? Yeah, like, you got to take an L. I mean, I would have gave him a push, but... A well, shove. I'd... A one-arm shove. I hate when kids are just hit you. Yeah, man. Like a, like a four-year-old kid coming up to you and just like, eh. I'm like, yo, get your fucking son. Yeah, your dirty fucking Capri son covered fingers off of me. It's like my cousins. I'm like, get your fucking kid. He's punching my niece. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't like any, like, uh, I just hate situations where I can't react the way I want to. Yeah. I don't like that because then I lose control of, like, just who I am as a person. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, lo I don't know who I am. Yeah, it's like, and again, back to this kid. Listen, I understand he has some stuff, but like, again, I, I played it right, but if next time I see him and if he slaps my dog again, I'm going to have to talk to his mom. Yeah, you tell his mom, like, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell him. Like, would it, would, it, would it be out of bounds no. for me to say that? No, and I think that you are also in... Uh, the right if you even now just next time you see him you go up to his mom and be like listen the last time he slapped my dog in the head I have I have a small dog yeah I don't want to tell him he can't pet my dog 
can you just, you know, I would yeah. prefer if, just to be safe. And yeah, and the kid's really nice. He runs around the park with the dogs. Like, he throws the balls with them. Like, he does, like, my job. Like, that's cool. Yeah. Just try not to slap him around next time. Yeah, that's the yeah. only thing. Yeah. That's all I ask. Don't he's, fuck, he's, bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we keep interrupting each other. Bitch, 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 bitch. Is that what you going to say? I don't know. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, another thing that's been pissing me off too is uh, Halloween's coming up. Like, this will be out after Halloween. But all these people are going to these Joker stairs in oh, New York. Oh, yeah. Do people have jobs? I don't know, man. Like, I, I saw the video on Twitter of people just going to the stairs and what like, is that? pretending to dance on them and like whatever. And it's like. Guys, first of all, I'll say this. They're, the stairs are in the South Bronx. Yeah. Not where you want to be. No. South Bronx is not a great neighborhood. You also see none of those pictures getting taken at night. Let's just say that. Yeah, because it's not... A, and I'm sure people go there at night. I wouldn't be surprised if people have gotten like fucking robbed over there. Oh, yeah. Like, the South Bronx is, like, you know, n- notorious for, for being, like, a dangerous place. Yeah. Um, And... People are just like, like, I'd be worried about people who don't know that just being like, let's just go see the stairs and like you going. And it's like, dude, you're putting yourself in a barrier. That's like when that kid got robbed playing Pokemon Go. People used to stick up people doing that all the time. Oh, because they would tell you like where the gyms are. It's like, oh, there's a a guy right now. It's over here. And people would know they would want to come there and they would just wait and just fucking steal their phones. Did you say guy right Yeah. Gyarados. It's Gyarados. Yeah. Why'd you say Guy Rydos? Because I'm just saying, like, people that don't even know about Pokemon are just going to go there to rob you. No, no, no. I'm I'm concerned with the Guy Rydos that you said. Why are you so, why, why are you so because concerned? Because that's not his name. I just said his name the correct way before you said it. But why'd you say it in passing because like that? Because you're not understanding what I'm saying. You you think it's Guy Rydos. No, I don't. I just said it the right way before you said it. No, I... Wait. Yes, I did. I don't know who yeah, said it. I said it first. You Guy I, Rydosed. Yeah, but I was in character. Oh, oh, you were doing a, you were doing a, 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 you know, like a, like a guy that doesn't know about Pokemon. This is the method acting you're doing? A little bit. Guy Rydos. I said the, the the right way before you even said it the right way, so okay. it's not I wasn't following you. When we pull the tape, we'll see. We'll pull the tape. We'll pull the tape. <laughs> we'll pull the tape. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't think. Who's your favorite Pokemon of all time? Yeah. Uh. Damn, you got to think about it? Well, there's two. I, I, I was close to Squirtle because Squirtle was the first one I ever picked. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, that was my dude, you know? Yeah. Everyone was like, yo, I'm going with Charmander. And I was like, yo, there's this cute little fucking turtle dude over here. And, like, he's water, and I'm an Aquarius, so, like, we're kind of boys in that way. We're both water bearers, you know? So I fucked with him, you know? So Squirtle is, like, my guy, and then I, like, hit my chan. Ooh, I went through a big Hitmonchan. Yo, phase. he was the man, dude. Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. <laughs> <laughs> Him only Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan was the goat for a while for me. Yeah, I'm Zapdos, though. Yeah, Zapdos fucked everything up in that I game. I love Zapdos, bro. Bad, yeah, Zapdos was a bad bitch. A legendary bird. I think it was a girl, right? I don't know. It wasn't it weird like we never knew the sex. Like you could have female squirtles. Well, I, I know they don't have animated dicks on the fucking cards or anything. Like that. <laughs> Said that with the smuggest fucking look on your face. <laughs> I know they don't have fucking sex or something. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, and nowadays you can't you can't assume no, no, what no, Zapdos no. is. No, 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 no. no. She's non-binary. I think you know. Isn't that crazy that like now when you fill stuff out, it's interesting because this wasn't the case where it'd be like sex and it would it would have bo- it has boxes and it says male fe- female prefer not to say. Interesting. Yeah. Why have it at all then? I know. Why have it at all? What is the point? I'm really trying to think of like an argument here, but I can't. Because it's like, if some people prefer not to say, then you, then the person who has the application goes, oh, okay, it doesn't matter. You know, you prefer not to say, that's fine. But if they prefer not to say, then why are we asking? Maybe it's because like they don't want them to like come up and be like, I don't want to answer this question. But th- that's what I'm saying. Like, why have the question then? If if a possible answer could be, I prefer not to answer this, why have it at all? Or just put other, like, every other fucking thing, and they could just write, I prefer not to say. I hear you, though. It sounds like a waste of a bubble to me. You know, I didn't know what Caucasian meant for the longest time, so on, like, my, my school exams, like, I would just put other and then just write white. 
Because <laughs> I didn't know what Caucasian meant. I was like, nah, dude, I'm not Asian. What is Caucasian? You know I what mean, I'm I don't know where the word comes from. I know what it is, but I don't know where like the word stems from. I don't know, but I, I remember I remember because I didn't know what Caucasian was. And now it says like uh, Caucasian when parentheses says white. And it's like, it's one of those things that's like, are we white? Am I white? Or am I like a pinkish? You're white. That's not that white. You just, you, you don't have like a, like. I'm more peach. Yeah, you don't have like a. This is salmon. Yeah. You know, I'm not this. Yeah. Or this, this, you know. Like I have an olive hint to my skin. Oh yeah, you're, you're very olive. You know, it's like, you're just kind of like, you're out there. It's that Irish part of you. I know, but like white. Yeah. Mm. Well, black people aren't black. That's true. You know? I think we're getting all these colors wrong. Yeah. We should I, start changing the colors. Yeah. Instead of the prefer not to say, let's just get the colors right. Let's get the colors right. You know, it's weird. It's like, I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, is he Spanish? I'm like, is it Latino? Is it Hispanic? Yeah, I, yeah, that's a lot of let's stuff. Just give us one. Yeah. Give me, give me one. Also, what was that whole thing, like the racist thing with the uh, Asians where it's like they're yellow? I have never in my life gotten close to to thinking that no i never looked at an asian person and been like oh my god that guy has a yellow tint i'm like that dude has olive skin dude like that guy just looks like a a guy he looks he has the same skin as me isn't like the word oriental supposed to be like weird it's like not like a good word uh i don't know i don't i i don't know i don't know know, i'm not i'm not up on the racism nowadays like if someone was just like yeah it's oriental i think it's racist my computer is ringing you have everything set up like that. I don't. I don't know why that's like that. Um, but yeah, I, th- I think that's like a racist one. I mean, I don't know. But like, what about Oriental rugs? Is like know. your rug racist now? I don't know what even that is. To be honest, with they're you. like you, they're like expensive rugs, like thirty thousand dollar rugs. Jesus, who the fuck would spend that on a rug? Rich people. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. All I know is. That's all came from Zapdos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, but like with the Joker. Stare, wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, yeah. wait. Was there one Pokemon that you absolutely hated? Yeah, I had a couple. Fucking Weedle. Oh uh, yeah, because in the game he would show up uh, every five seconds. Fuck you, man. F- fuck Weedle. Fuck Weedle, and the other one that I used to fucking hate too was uh, not Jinx, but I didn't really like Jinx that much. We're gonna say the same one. Go. Um. Wait, we might not say the same one. You know which one I hated? Who? Togepi. Yeah. Togepi kind of sucked. So annoying. Yeah. And the other one that kind of sucked, though, too, was I didn't like her that much. Clefairy. Oh, yeah. That fat pink old thing. Yeah. I didn't like Clefairy. I fucked with Lickitung hard, though. <laughs> Dude, I used to fuck with Lickitung, man. That was like, my shit. I didn't like Clefairy. My champ? My champ was the champ got my bitches. Champ. And then... Psyduck. Psy? Psyduck? Whoa, dude. <laughs> How did you do that? That was a one-timer. Golduck was fucking... Golduck was dope because he got bigger and like had like some black on him. Right? Yeah, it was, was like blue. He was too. like gold dust. Yeah, yeah. He was like, <laughs> just gold duck. Yeah. Um, those ones were awesome. And Blastoise, obviously. Yeah, dude. You got shoulder cannons. I'm fucking yeah, with you, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, Big yeah. time. Hell yeah. But Char's are like... Don't, don't, hey, hey. No, 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 don't, no, no, don't, don't. No, no, no. Charizard was where you wanted to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where everybody wanted to get. You Charmeleon, tra- though. Charmeleon was cool. My shit. But Charmeleon in the show was kind of a dick. Yeah, yeah. He was a dick to Ash, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I didn't fuck with him that heavy. And then Charizard, he, like, couldn't really control him. He had to, like, learn to control oh, him. He's a big dude. He's a big dude. He's a big, powerful uh, Have you ever boy. looked up their weights? They have weights. Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah. Dude, also, can how much is be, Bla- how much does Blastoise weigh? I think he weighs like two forty. Damn, dude. Yeah. So I weigh more than Blastoise. You, I am I am Blastoise. You look like Blastoise, to be honest with you. Blastoise height and weight. <laughs> Blastoise height and weight. Five foot, one eighty. Oh my god, he's a twink. He's five foot one eighty. On a f- yeah. Oh, five fuck, foot five foot three. I'll fuck his ass up. Oh, I'll beat up a Blastoise. Yeah. What about Charizard though? Charizard, I think, was huge, no? I used to remember these things being way heavier. Dude, when you're like 100 pounds, 180's big, though. Charizard. He's got to be in the two bills. He is two bills, but he's 5'7". I'll fucking rock his shit. I'll rock Charizard, <laughs> dude. 
You got any? You got any other ones? Um, who was like a what big, was, oh, what, Machamp, what, what, Machamp, Machamp what, was big, man. Machamp is a five three two eighty six. That's a fat dude. Yeah, that's a man. fat dude. That's a big old Can't boy. Can't move Machamp at all. What was the three headed one? Oh, uh, f- uh, I hated him too. Oh, uh, uh, Dotrio or whatever the fuck. D- Dotrio. I don't know, but um, oh, Onyx, Onyx was big. Pidgeotto was cool. Onyx height weight. Onyx was just stones. I just spelled both of those wrong. How big is Onyx? It's over twenty six feet long. Damn, son, don't fuck your ass up. But oh, I spelled it wrong. I spelled it like Onyx. <laughs> like the rappers. <laughs> Onyx. Uh. 210 kilograms. That's like 400 pounds. I don't know. I, I, I don't know either. I don't know, I don't know how to do that. I, I know it's heavy. I know it's heavy. I know it's heavy. Yeah. Um, it's heavier than pounds. Oh, what was the, what was the, um, who was the dude? He was like a, he looked like a pineapple. Oh, man. Uh, oh, executor. E- executor. Executor. What, what was the I, Pokeball, the electric Pokeball, Electro? Vol- yeah, yeah. Electro? Uh, 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 Voltorb. Voltorb. Executor is. Ho! What do you got? Six foot two sixty. That's a big dude. That, that dude. That dude's cleaning house. That's a. That's a. That's a. That's a linebacker in the NFL. Oh yeah, get some fucking. Who's that? Voltorb. Oh no, that's Executor. Oh, Executor. Yeah. Voltorb height weight. Oh, Venusaur too. We got to check oh, out. Oh, Venusaur is a big fat bastard. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, no, this isn't it. What the fuck is Voltron Force? <laughs> <laughs> v- Venusaur was a th- dummy thick bitch. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the worst of the six foot two twenty. Who? Venusaur. Damn, dude. And that's on all fours. That'll beat the shit. I think that, that was the worst one out of Charizard and Blast. Yo, how's Blastoise five three, dude? I can't. I, I'm. I'm gonna. That kind of that kind of ruins him for me. To be honest. Fuck Blastoise now. He's yeah. a little bitch. A little chode. How big was Ash? Ash, catch him. Yeah, what was he, fucking three? Weight. Three foot four? Yeah, because Charizard was huge. He's 158 pounds and six feet tall. Damn. That's a pretty big dude. <laughs> 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 oh, man. This man's oh, good. man. But this, yeah, this man. is fun. I could do this all day. Yeah. Which uh, one's going to fight? What? Lapras. Height. Weight. Lap. Well, I don't know why Lapras came to my mind. Eight foot two, four hundred eighty-five pounds. That's a water monster, though. Yeah, that's a hell of a yeah, woman. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a bad bitch. There was a fat one that came into mind just now, and I lost it. Jinx was hot for trans. Oh no! Oh Mewtwo. Right? Wasn't she like a trans Pokemon? Uh, I don't know. Holy shit, dude! Mewtwo is a fucking dude. Mewtwo is six two two seventy. Damn, dude. Yeah, he'll fuck shit get up. Out of your, get out of his way. Very bottom heavy. Oh, yeah. It was thick. Thick, way. thick, thick, thick thighs, dude. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you put it what sex Jinx was? Or was J- J- Jinx? What sex is Jinx? I think I think it was a trans Pokemon. Or I just saw Female. Like, female only species with no male counterpart. Oh, that's what it was. They had, they had no uh, mating partner. Right, so it wasn't a trans oh. Pokemon. You fucking... <laughs> I thought that, that I thought that's how they marketed her. Let's see what. Let's see how, how she's doing over here. <laughs> she is four foot ninety pounds. A little spinner. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jinx, dude. Why? I don't know why I thought that, but for the for the longest time, I thought Jinx was like a trans Pokemon. I don't. I don't know why you thought. That. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I think we could do this all day, so we're gonna stop now. Um, but Danny, where can they find you? At Danny Little Priori on Instagram and Twitter, and make sure to check out the Stank Podcast, where we'll probably continue this conversation. Uh, at the Stank Podcast uh, on Instagram and the Stank Podcast on YouTube, youtubecom slash Podcast. You got? <laughs> yeah, I farted. And it smells exactly like yeah, a pumpkin. I, yeah, like a pumpkin. Like, yeah. Um, you guys can follow me at Jose and I got to go follow the show at the basement yard. And thank you to all of our patrons. We just put out some new content for them. Mm. Um, exclusive stuff. Mm. And the exclusive episode also just dropped, mm. uh, as well on there. We have one exclusive, uh, episode that goes out every single month, um, that we do just like this, uh, that is only available to them. 
Uh, so go check that out, patreon.com slash the basement yard. And go check out other people's lives as well, another podcast over on Santa Gala Studios. And definitely go check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Santa Gala Studios. We have a bunch of content coming out, peeps. Trying to take over the game in 2020, all right? That is all. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>